What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting a brand new show. This is Ikebukuro Westgate Park. Alright, so day 6 of the fall 2020 season. Slowly adding new shows. Um, middle of the week, so there's not many shows going out. So this is what usually happens with anime season. They heavily stack uh, the, well, what would be to us Westerners, Friday night and Saturday nights, since that is uh, what uh, would be uh, the weekend for Japan. So... It works out pretty well for my channel because it means Saturday and Sundays are usually the heaviest days on the weekend. Um, and that's usually when most shows end up going. Uh, so these midweek ones usually end up... You still get two, maybe three uh, on these days. But also since the season started on a Friday, uh, some of these are staggered. So like today we only have this one, just Ikebukuro. But we will be adding uh, Magatsu Varheit, Zurst. I think I'm saying it somewhat correctly. We'll be adding that one next week, and a lot of these midweek shows will be adding some as as uh, next week continues. But, since uh, we're starting a new show, uh, if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. British guy who reacts to seasonal anime. And we look at the analyst page first to look at the synopsis, the tags, and the studio that's doing it, just to get a basic feel for the show. Uh, I've already looked over this once before in my full 2020 preview video, but sometimes they update these things, and I can be a little more in-depth about this show as it pertains to this reaction. Uh, if you don't want to see this bit because you think it's spoilerish or anything, uh, there is a timestamp to the start of the reaction in the description below, as with every video on my channel. So, pull up this here. So, Ikebukuro Westgate Park, based on a series of urban mystery novels. So, we know the source material now. Um, it says urban mystery novels, not light novels, so maybe it's from uh, just a normal publication rather than something specifically targeted as an anime. Just kind of like how Fugo Keiji was, I guess. Uh, Crime-ridden Ikebukuro is a haven for violent gangs, the Yakuza, and home to uh, Makoto Majima. I still think, as soon as I hear Majima, I still think Yakuza 0, and Yakuza game series, right? I mean, I think most people would know Majima from that, probably at this point. Especially in the West. Uh, to protect his friends, this charismatic troubleshooter mediates disputes among the warring factions, even fixing problems the police can't. So he's kind of like a vigilante, I guess. He's a fixer for... But he like he plays both sides. He's not necessarily aligned with either one of them, but he's like he'll keep them happy just to avoid any problems. But when a rising tide of violence results in Makoto losing a loved one, can he ride out the storm or will he drown in all the spilled blood that floods his streets? Now, how early on into the series does he lose his loved one? Do we start off with her, him losing her? Is it already established that he's lost her right from the opening scene? Be interesting to see. Uh, so this is a Dogakobo show, believe it or not. Um, this is not usually the type of show you'd expect from them. You're much more likely to see him doing Sleepy Princess, or Diary in the Days of Breakwater, or An Asteroid in Love. Sing Yesterday, for me, was one of their more serious attempts, and it did well. Uh, ending was rushed, because, once again, 12-episode animes never have good endings for very character-driven and story-driven shows. Um, but this is definitely more of a serious take, especially considering what they've done in the last five years, like... Definitely a more serious take than their usual stuff. Which isn't bad. They're still a decent studio. It's just they're less proven in that regard, if you know what I mean. Like, if you see a cute girls doing cute things type show from Dogokoba, you, you know you're fine. Like, you know it's going to be a good show. Um, if you enjoy that genre, at least. Something like this, iffy. And scoring's a little iffy so far, but it's day one. Day one scores mean nothing. Because uh, these really don't update that quickly, ultimately. Like... More people planning than current, that's not normal. Uh, it'll update over the next week or so. So this is drama mystery romance. I'm curious about this romance tag usage. I don't think it's romance in the sense of they're going to be building a relationship that then develops onward through the story. I don't think that's the type of romance they're going for in this. At least I wouldn't expect that type of romance. I'm expecting the romance to be his memories of... His loved one, who I'm assuming is a girlfriend, uh, fiancé, wife, something along those lines. Um, potentially a family member, although... Could be a family member, although I think it's more likely to be a girlfriend or wife or something along those lines. I don't know how old he's meant to be here. He looks like he might be, like, my age, like, early 20s to mid-20s, maybe. Youthful exuberance, thinking you can fix things when really you're going in over your head, that sort of thing, maybe. That's what I'd expect him to be around. He might even be a teenager, still. That'd be a rough life if he was still a teenager, though. Uh, gangs, crime, primarily male cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we know. I mean, look at this squad photo. Mostly guys. Um, unless it turns into a, a BL sort of situation. 
then maybe that's where the romance tag comes in. I have no idea. But um, got some very interesting looking characters here. Very serious expressions across all of them as well for the most part, which is interesting. So, I'm not going to waste too much time here. I'm going to uh, get into it, really. We're watching this one on Funimation, since that's where it's licensed here in the UK and US. You can find that link in the description. And for those of you who are new, these are timer-based formats. Bottom left of the screen down here, you're going to see the timer for the episode. I'll count you down, 3, 2, 1, play. And I'll play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. No video or audio from the original material is going to be featured in this uh, video, because of copyright reasons, of course. Um, most studios actually don't mind uh, if you're doing it with uh, like cut reactions or only using lower thirds for subtitles, things like that. But some companies do, and it's just not worth the risk anymore. I've already lost a channel doing it that way, so we're not going to take the risk anymore. Um, it's I know it's just one or two specific companies, but at the same time, I'm not taking the risk if one company suddenly changes its mind, you know. So that's the way we do it. Uh, you can also use screen flash as well to uh, see when scenes are transitioning. We have Katakawa logo and Funimation logo at the beginning here, which I'll call out. And then if we get an OP at the beginning, uh, I'll call that out as well. Although I'm hoping the OP is used as the ending, because I think that works better for these types of shows uh, when you're starting your season. Gives you more time to actually get your viewer interested. Like that extra minute and a half actually can make or break a scene if you're doing it correctly. So, so with all that said, let us get into the first episode of Ikiburu Park West. Uh, Westgate Park. Uh, I almost got it. Northgate Smoke Town is the name of the episode. So I guess it's going to be based on the location of the park. I don't know how it works. Anyway, here we go. In three, two, one, play. Kalakawa logo. And Funimation logo. Work of fiction, can yeah, no existing. Yeah, we get it. It's definitely more in the style of uh, saying yesterday for me. Sure. Interesting sound effect. I don't know if that's the right effect, but sure. Hmm. Chase scene in action. Not the worst CG. Incredibly tired. Probably on the run for a long time or under the influence of something. Okay, I wasn't the greatest. <laughs> oh, the stallion? G boys. Okay. Westgate. And blockage. Wait, I actually managed to stop. That's impressive. Still trying to run though. Junkie, okay. So he's probably under the influence. Well. You try and blend in with the crowd? Nah, no, too late now. He's trying to hide himself in the crowd at least. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. This is part of the plan. Ho 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 ho. Okay. They're all in on it? Oh, they're all in on it. I'm guessing blue is their unifying colour. I'm just gonna go out and guess. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a lot of them. Oh shit. Oh, here we go. Leader. King, okay. Ah, oh, he's of course he's got a blade. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, no. Whoa. That was a nice hit. And he's out. That was nice. (laughs) 
Well, that went as planned. That's Makoto. Uh, Makoto, okay. Mm hmm. Takashi, okay. They know each other in some way. That's closer than just King. Sure. That's the impression I've got. <laughs> Not bad OP so far. It's all right. It's not fantastic, but it's decent. I like the vibe. It's just it doesn't really have much punch. How nice of them to color code them. That's very helpful. Oh, those are odd. Okay, decent OP. Can't complain. Okay, younger. Younger Makoto. I think. Much more produce. Okay, so I guess by day he helps out at the family market. Well, it swings. They're focusing a lot on each fruit. Like, we didn't need that many establishing shots on fruit, I'm just saying. Almost feels like a time save, that one. Car pulls up. Who is it? It's King, I guess. Like a she. Who's this? Okay, so it's not the same kid. It's a different kid, I'm guessing. Oh, he's got a smoke and kill shirt on him. Mm hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Recognize Takashi's voice. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Mom always holds the shots. Mion, okay. I don't know what what's the point of you being here. That will determine what's happening. I like your hair. I wish I could pull off longer hair, I just can't. My hair just doesn't style well. That's why I have it that's why I prefer it short like this. <laughs> I uh, know it's King here. Oh shit. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> oh shit. Former G Boys, okay. Yeah, what is the deal? Okay. So they are a gang in themselves, I guess. Okay. The head hooligan. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Ah. So she's gonna burn the whole thing down. Ah, okay. Okay, she wants a revenge. Okay, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, okay. Trying her best, and now... Mm hmm Life is cruel like that. Hmm. Okay. We're not burning it down, but we've got a... Oh, okay. Okay, so they're very much anti-drug. Cool. Okay. Start a fire. No, don't. Sure. So he's not actually affiliated. Interesting. Him? New character? Some confidence. We in a swanky place, okay. We have some higher up connections. Oh, it's the oh damn, it's the police chief. Okay, so Makoto's uh, deal is that he has a lot of good connections. He has a lot of connections with a lot of people. Okay, that's his deal. That's good. Don't often see characters like that too much. Not as mains anyway. That's good. Probably don't mention the fact that you were about to commit arson to this guy, though. Hmm. New type of drug, okay. Narcotic, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then driving whilst under the influence. Oh shit, that's pretty severe. How do you what's making it like that? Ah, okay. Oh shit, that's that's pretty clever. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean they can, it's just such a long drawn out process that it just takes so long that by the time you've done it, it's started back up again. What if he's buying? What if you're buying? Might let you have a quick peek then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously. 
Okay. How are we going to approach this then? Is the kit... Okay, yeah, the kit's still here. Hmm. <laughs> this is very risky, but... Uh, spice and essential oils, huh? Hmm. Aroma candles, of course. Seems semi legit. Hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, it's not just like the entire building was full of bad people, there's still ordinary people in here. What? <laughs> okay. Knew the kid would be a problem. Okay. He went down? Why'd you go down? Oh, shit. Okay, that's not too bad of a leap, actually. How did you not see them go up? Uh All right. That <laughs> Yeah, I mean you're the reason we're in this mess. Don't start complaining now. Mhm. Mm Oh, who's this? Getting a lot of character introductions. Not a good knowledge one, though. Episode one, okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Detective Castia, okay. Of course. <laughs> sure. Oh, he knows, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Okay. The owner of the tower. Interesting. What's the start? Well, that's a character introduction. Hmm, okay. Oh, shit, really? Okay. Again, Makoto just has all the connections that allows him to be in this position. Zero one, okay.
I was going to make a dying in the Franks joke, but never mind. Hmm, okay. Getting some leads. More than likely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Every other day. Hmm. Okay. We can have a look for ourselves now. There we are. Yeah, you stay the hell out of this. Okay, actually listening this time. Mm-hmm. Oh seven one four. I don't know if that has any relevance to anything, but Well that's suspicious as all hell, isn't it? Yep, they be growing. How much are they growing though? Looks like a lot already. I mean, yeah, he, he... Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. As long as it isn't a legal substance. Right, yeah. Oh. Oh. Distraction. Huh. Nice distraction. Uh, but got caught for it. Oh! Nice kick. Very reckless, but... <laughs> I guess that's case closed. Mm hmm. And it's a setup. Anonymous email. Cool. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay, E.D. Yay. <laughs> yeah, probably best you don't. It's probably for the best. <laughs> Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Why does his mouth look so weird in that shot? Oh, it's because he's got like a little bit here and then it's the mouth. That looks really weird. It still looks weird, his mouth like that. Like when his mouth is actually open, it looks fine. 
But because his mouth, when it's closed, is split in two lines, it looks really weird. Oh, someone's spying. Who's be spying on our boy? Oh, it's going to be the mother that he loses, isn't it? Oh, God, I've got a bad feeling. To be continued, though. That's it. All right. Very episodic, self-contained episode, that one. Okay. We've got the glimpse of a higher plot coming, though, with whoever that was staring at him. Now, knowing that he's going to be losing a loved one, and seemingly it hasn't happened yet, I've got a bad feeling the mother's gone. I've got a bad feeling that his mother is going to be the target. I've got a bad feeling that's going to be what they're going to do here. I mean, I guess that is technically a synopsis spoiler then. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, it's not too hard of a leap, right? To be like, well, he ha doesn't seem to have a significant other that he, that we knowingly care for. He seems to be alone for the most part. The only f family he has is a mother. And we know that he's going to lose a loved one, which is going to turn him, because the synopsis kind of spoiled that. A little bit of a shame, but that's fine. Uh, so I've got a bad feeling his mother is going to be the target for this. The question is, why is he being targeted like this? Who's observing him for a reason? Is it because this owner was related to another gang? The Yakuza, or something to that effect? I'm going to guess. It's probably like a... It's going to be a rivalry between gangs of some sort. Um... And since it was him and the G-Boys that took it down, they'll be targeting him for it as well, I'm going to guess. Hmm. I wonder if uh, future episodes are also going to be quite so episodic. Because I, I quite like the episodic approach for the first episode, since it lets you understand the characters, understand what they're doing, understand the way different characters interact with each other, and understand the basic premise of what this show wants to do. And then slowly introduce your main story elements. Uh, Millionaire Detective last season did something similar. And I am kind of seeing Millionaire Detective vibes. Just slightly... This is a slightly more normal show, if you know what I mean. Millionaire Detective was over the top and knew it. And was having fun with that. In the seriousness of what they were trying to show. This one is just being serious. It's just being normal humans. Not any superpowers or anything uh, our main character's strength comes from his connections and the people he know the people he knows rather not the people he know um i wonder if the, we're gonna see any more of that kid going forward um i do wonder Although it's pretty out there to immediately be like, oh, I wish you were my dad. It's like, Jesus, that was, that was a bit quick. It's like, okay, yeah, he did some pretty extraordinary stuff. But like, oh, I wish you were my dad. It's like, okay. Um, this is an interesting first episode. I can't say it's been... I mean, as first episodes go, there have been some absolutely fantastic ones this season already. So it's a bit unfair to say that this is a poor first episode in in comparison to everything else, this is kind of a mediocre first episode. But it's still a good first episode. Like, it's still a solid 7 or 8 out of 10 in terms of first episodes. It's just that all the rest have been, like, 9s or above. So, yeah. I, I, I'm optimistic for this show. We're not going to drop it. I mean, we've only got two shows today anyway. Uh, this is the only one coming out this week, of course. But I see no reason to drop it. Looks interesting. Um... The character art is very reminiscent of Sing Yesterday for me. Similar sort of style. Uh, color is relatively bland. Relatively, but I think that helps this show because it's meant to be like nitty and gritty, things like that. When they want some vibrancy, they do have it. It's makes, mostly with King and things surrounding him that the vibrancy really comes out. Or uh, Takashi is, I should say. Um, but yeah, we know G-Boys, we know they have the blue colour scheme. My guess is... Hang on, where was that person observing at the end? I just want to see if they had any distinguishing colours on them. Um, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all. Um, 
Let's see. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, I have no idea, honestly, who that might be. Just know that he was they were being observed. Not really much to go on there. I guess the red might be a part of it. I don't know. Uh, I think in the OP we did say see there was uh, red, right? That was a red group. I think. Let me see if I can find that OP again. Yeah, we did see there was a red affiliated group. Red versus blue. Seems to be the main foes of this. So yeah, I mean... It was a good first episode, I suppose. I'm not exactly blown away by it. It's not uh, something that has super captured me in relation to its story, because it hasn't set one out yet, but that's fine. It needs to pace itself, I suppose. Um... Definitely not the strongest first episode. I mean, there's been... But yeah, like I said, there's been too many good ones. Talentless Nana, Sleepy Princess, Walls of Sigadrifa. Uh, but they were cheating by doing a double episode, let's be real. They were always going to have a good first episode. Um, Wandering Witch. Uh, b -b 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 what else had a really good, strong first episode? Tonikawa. Um, Saltly Bouquet. Higurashi. Like, most of the shows this season have had incredibly strong openings. That an average opening... I think I unconsciously view somewhat negatively when I really shouldn't because it's an interesting premise. I feel like the synopsis has kind of spoiled it because they're pacing the story a bit too much and they've revealed a story point that isn't covered in the first episode. I feel like if your synopsis says something that doesn't happen in the first episode, you need to rewrite your synopsis. That's just my personal opinion because I already think I know the mother's going to die, and I don't want to know that. I want it to be a shock when it happens, not a, there it is. Like, I want it to be a shock when that sort of thing happens, but I don't know if it's going to be a shock. So, we'll see how it goes, but um, yeah. That's partly on me for not going in completely blind, but most people will look up the show that they're trying to watch. They look at the show to see if it's something that interests them, and a synopsis is one of the key selling points. They're like, that sounds like an interesting story. I'm going to check that out. For example, Talos Nana talks about um, our protagonist who's attempting to defeat the enemy's humanity with intelligence and manipulation. It's like, ooh, hello, a main character that doesn't rely on a special power but relies on her intellect. That's something I could get behind. Looks like a My Hero-esque show. I could be interested. And then the first episode completely shocks you and turns your expectation of the show completely upside down. That is how you do a synopsis in first episode. This... Got it the other way round, I think, which is a bit of a shame. But other than that, decent first episode. We will be watching next week's episode. Like I said, I don't need to drop this yet. Um, we'll see how episode two does and if they start to introduce the grander plot to it from there or not. I mean, Millionaire Detective took until like episode four, I think, to introduce, or four or five to start introducing their main plot properly into the story. So I won't judge them for taking their time with this one either. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. Leave a like if you did. It helps grow the channel. Engagement, such as likes and comments, are the best way to help grow this channel. We just crossed over 300 subs um, today, which is insane. Thank you, everyone, for the support already this full season. It's been incredible. Like, the amount of uh, views on... Views as well as um, watch duration and watch percentages on these first episodes has been really incredible, and I can't thank you all enough for it. Uh, hopefully, you'll be sticking around to see uh, these shows conclude as well, but... It's been a good start to the season. We've already hit 300. Uh, we're going to push on towards 400. Like I said, that's the uh, goal by the end of the season. And with this rate of growth, we can easily manage that. So uh, let's hope we can do that, shall we? Uh, leave your comments down below what you thought of the first episode and how you think the show's going in, in its direction. How you think of the art style. Because I think the art style is... If you watched Sing Yesterday for me from Spring 2020, right? Spring 2020, Spring 2020. Um, I think you'll see the similarities there. I think this looks worse than Sing Yesterday for me. I think Sing Yesterday for me had better background art than this, but they haven't had much chance to really show off much background art in this show just yet. Or if they have, it's been not particularly special that I've noticed it yet. So that's my only critique about the art, really. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the full 2020 lineup you can find on my channel. Lots of good shows this season. I hope there's some that I'll be watching that you'll also enjoy. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.